Hi friends, I'm sure glad you joined me today. I'm working on a little pouch that I made for myself. So come along with me and join me to see how I do this. Hi everyone and welcome to Bonnie's Best Creations. And I'm so glad you joined me for this cute, quick, easy, and fun little project that I did very quickly. You can do no sew, or if you have a machine, you can sew. So this is for anybody. I walk a lot and I'm tired of having my phone in my back pocket. And what I wanted was a little pouch that would sit on my shoulder um, that was light, but enough to hold my cell phone, maybe a credit card, sunglasses, and a Kleenex as I walk. I didn't want anything leather. I didn't want anything that uh, heavy. I wanted something lightweight. So what I did is um, I went through my stash of scraps and you can use whatever you have. So all you need is a sturdy piece of canvas. This canvas actually was a placemat. I found a set of four at a thrift store and I love the colors and the pattern, but you can use whatever you have. And you can make whatever size you want. Uh, this size that I made finished is actually finished as five by uh, what uh, six and three quarters, but you can make it to the size of your phone. So what I did is my placemats I cut in half so I have enough to make another one if I need to be need to do that so what I have is um, my canvas some lace and this fabric tack you can get this fabric tack anywhere, Walmart, um, Fabricland, like a material shop, uh, anywhere will they say, sell material, you can buy this. And it's not really that expensive and it goes a long way. So what I did, I will show you, is I took my canvas and I measured the size that I wanted my pouch to be. And with the right sides together, now this is bigger so that you can see what I did. With always right sides together, I actually started to sew and I sewed all the way around the edge. If you don't want to sew, then put your right sides together and then glue all the edges that you want sealed, leaving an opening. So I'm gonna fold it like this as if it's the size that I want it to be. Let's say I want my pouch to be that size. These placemats are kind of cool because they already had the finished edges. So that makes it easier. So then what I did is I got my um, extra pieces of fabric, like my lace, this was some, all my stuff I have here is from a thrift store. You can find lots of stuff. You could use uh, seam binding, any kind of, uh, uh, this is to go over 
my shoulder. I use that to go over my shoulder and as the lace. You want something that wouldn't fray. So I think binding, seam binding would be good because it would be light and you could get it in any color. But I happen to have this and all I did, once my edges were all either sewn, if you're sewing, you have to have your right sides together and sew your three edges. Then turn it inside out. And then at the top, I just easily with this glue, I glued all around with the top, the top edge. And then with glue as well, I just glued my lace and you could do multiple lace. Like if you had plain uh, canvas, you might want to do layers of lace. This one was gathered lace that I had and I just glued that. I glued it at the bottom. I had some of these little doily pieces that I glued just I just glued it and I had some bling that I put there on the center. Now for my straps to go over my shoulder, I just inside I offset it. I, I glued one side there inside made it the length i wanted to go over my shoulder and then to the opposite side of the bag or the pouch now if you wanted to uh just reinforce this this was made not to hold heavy things just my phone and maybe my sunglasses, maybe a key or two. But you might want to hand stitch there, like your strap inside, or just double glue it. And I'm telling you, this glue is permanent and it is strong holding. So there you go. You could color coordinate it to match your outfit if you wanted. But I'm telling you, I'm using this all the time. It leaves my hands free. It's kind of cute and sassy and uh, very easy. So I hope that gave you some ideas to give something a try. Um, let me know what you think. Please subscribe. And tell me the kind of things you like to see me to do. I love trying anything new. And you'll see it on Bonnie's Best Creations. So I hope you have a great day. And uh, let me know if you give this a try. All right. See you soon.